In the first part of 3D, you created this search screen that is designed to find instructors that meet criteria. For example, if you were to say, well, uh, I'm willing to pay at least £12 an hour, but I don't want to pay any more than £17 an hour. I need lessons at weekends. I don't mind whether it's male or female instructors. I want to go for at least four hours per week. Then what we would want it to find is how many instructors will match that and list those instructors. Now we're expected to find a number of instructors between five and seven in total. Now the first thing we've got to do is identify the input data that we're going to put in. So at the moment I'm just going to write in what we've done so that we can remember it. So we've put £12, £17, weekends we've said true, gender we've said any, and minimum number of hours we've said four. Now we need to, this to return between five and seven instructors. So what we need to do is have a look at the instructor table. So we have here all the instructors and we could go through and we could say, right, does Angela Keypax charge between £12 and £7, £17 an hour? Yes, she does. Does she work at weekends? No. So we'll have to move on to the next one. And we could do it this way and then list which instructors meet the criteria. That's going to take us quite a while and we may make a mistake. So what I would recommend that you do is go through and put some filters on. So for example, for weekends, that's a nice easy filter, we're saying that we want weekends to be true. So that's got to be yes. The gender, it doesn't matter, so we can leave that blank. The maximum hours, we've said that we want a minimum number of hours of four. So we're going to go for greater than, okay. Uh, maximum hours is greater than or equal to, so that's even better. Four. Now we can see already we haven't got enough instructors. We've got between we we haven't got between five and seven. We've got three. But let's put our charge in as well. So our charge we've said needs to be between twelve and seventeen pounds. So we need our criteria to return between five and seven instructors. Now we could change some of the data in the instructors table so that uh, we could like increase some of the hours so that it gives us a, a better response or we could change our criteria so i'm going to change that to two and that would be like changing this to two and so therefore we'll change that now so greater than or equal to two hours per week and let's see how many we get uh, it's come up that's not actually done it Try again, greater than or equal to two hours per week. And we'll put them in manually then, two and three hours. Right, now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, that's between five and seven instructors. So this is, okay, our input data. That is the set of data input values that we're going to use as a set of test data and when we've got to identify clearly the data values that would be used, that's that bit, and the expected results. Now, the expected results are the list of instructors that are going to match. So we'll put that in here. And we need to list the IDs of those instructors. So it's going to be instructor 2, 5, 8, 11, 13 and 16. Now there's different ways you can do this. We can use different minimum charges, maximum charges. We can change any of these uh, things to try and get different values that might come out of this. It's up to you as long as you have between five and seven returned. 